Welcome back. You're watching us here on Chartbusters. Let's get, uh, let's get straight to the corporate joining us today, Sandur Manganese and Iron Ores. Recently, we did see a bit of a spike in the stock on account of receipt of an approval coming in from the Central Empowered Committee to enhance its uh, manganese ore production to more than double at 5.82 lakh tons per year. Bahirji Ghorpade, who's the managing director of the company, joins us to discuss this in detail. Thanks a lot, uh, Mr. Ghorpade, for joining in. Um, that really is, uh, you know, the first point that we want to dwell on. Uh, what are uh, the permissions that are required for this? Are all permissions in? And how long does it take for you to, uh, you know, ramp up this production? What can this mean in terms of incremental revenue for you? First of all, good morning uh, to you. Uh, see, we've got the enhancement approval for the maximum permissible annual, annual production uh, from uh, 2.86 to 5.82. See, this is uh, one or a one uh, few more approvals pending, which is uh, the environment approval. We've got, we've got the environment clearance with us, but then the Karnataka State Pollution Control Board's uh, consent for uh, operation uh, is uh, pending, which we should have it uh, during the first quarter. And ramping up the operations will not take uh, much time. So we are already prepared for that. All right. Uh... Uh, hi, Birji. Thanks so much for, for joining in. Uh, you know, so by quarter one, you're expecting all approvals to come about. And then I'm guessing by quarter two onwards, you'll start mining operations out there. Just just, yeah. go, just going by, you know, the last disclosed rate of manganese uh, or prices that you'll have put uh, on the, uh, you know, in your presentation of roughly around 7,000 rupees, this additional capacity would mean revenues of closer to 200 crores at least at current prices? Uh, should be close by, but at the same time, we are also uh, increasing our ferroalloys uh, capacity. Okay. Where uh, uh, we we are we plan to go up to almost uh, 90, 95,000 tons of uh, silico manganese production. So there will be also significant increase in the captive consumption uh, that will happen. Okay. And uh, also uh, the grades increasing. There will be some averaging out of uh, the the grades. Uh, with the quantity of production going up. Hmm. So how much so of this, this additional um, manganese ore that you'll be mining uh, will go, uh, will be used captively? See, it will depend on the product. Uh, however, yes, uh, there will be a fairly significant increase. Could you quantify that? Uh, what does significant actually mean? I mean, because you are essentially doubling your capacity, but how much of that will be available for additional sale and how much of that will be captively used? Uh, would you have any thoughts on that? Uh, see, at least uh, another uh, 20 to 25 percent uh, will be captively used. Okay. And then uh, balance will be for additional sale. Okay, so roughly 150 crores is what you can make through uh, the sale. The other 50 crores used captively. How much will that uh, support your uh, earnings, EBITDA? Yeah, it it will def definitely strengthen, but you know the way the prices have been uh, fluctuating, hmm. and also we can uh, expect when the, the production increases because uh, our we have mined uh, and the uh, the mines have run for almost uh, seven decades now. Hmm. So we will have to uh, the the grades we can uh, may may fall a bit. Hmm. So that's where uh, the average realization may come down, but then the revenues are overall revenues will go up with the quantity increase okay all right uh, got that and any any further capex you'll have to put uh, to ramp up this uh it's it's just the uh, opex okay. uh, not the capex for the magnesium because okay. uh, it is only enhancing the mining got it your ino capacity is around 1.6 million tons odd your finance capacity are there as well i think uh you know from this 1.6 you'll be looking at upping it i think so uh, could you tell yes, us we are, we... what stage of approvals has that reached I know our capacity approval is in advanced stages. Uh, we had the public hearing for the environment clearance uh, during early December. Mm. Uh, post that, there was an expert appraisal uh, committee meeting of the MOEF. And uh, it is it right. is uh, fairly in advanced stages. Right. So uh, we uh, but we see, if you could tell us, right, uh, if yeah. you could tell us how much are you looking to expand it uh, from 1.6 uh, to, I, I think, 4.5 million tons. By when does that happen? Is, uh, uh, that also is an advance. Hopefully, during the first quarter, uh, uh, we expect to get that. 
because again similar to magnes or uh, see once we get the environment clearance hmm. we will have to go, go for the mpap maximum permissible uh, annual production increase which the central empowered committee will uh, uh, provide hmm. and also there are other pollution uh, control board uh, approvals required because along with the 4.5 uh, mtpa uh, uh, mining approval we also will get a 7 mtpa beneficiation plant approval so for that we require a consent for establishment and for the mining we require consent for operation so uh, it it will take some time but yeah uh, environment clearance is the most important uh, approval which which should be in place very soon okay all right so uh, in all probability both this additional capacities will be on full stream in fy25 uh no during uh, during fy24 uh, itself they will ramp up okay they will ramp up so you're expecting yeah. that you yeah. get the approvals in the first quarter of fy24 and from there on you'll ramp up got that could yes you, yes could you give us a sense on i know pricing you know the last quarter it was only around 2400 rupees but uh, i know prices globally have moved up drastically even nmbc has increased prices so what's the last uh, price at which you are working with see we are working uh, uh, with pricing very similar to uh, nmdc pricing mm. and uh, uh, corresponding to the global trends and nmdc pricing that happens in the country our pricing also has uh, uh, fairly improved compared to the uh, uh, third quarter uh, during the fourth quarter and our uh, uh, sales Right. the uh, volumes also have gone up significantly because uh, during the first 9 uh, months there was lot of uh, fluctuation mm. uh, in terms of pricing and also in terms of uncertainty mm. because uh, of the supreme court order which came mm. uh, during the uh, during uh, may uh, 2022 yes. and post that uh, things have now fairly settled right. and also the markets also have strengthened got that and uh, you know uh, this uh, iron ore increase iron ore capacity that you you will get uh, will that be sold in the market as well or some part of that will be used captively there will be some part of that which the will be used 20, captively the same 25% uh see that will be lesser but mm. however uh, as you may be aware we are setting up our uh, uh, new project where we are coming up with a integrated facility to manufacture uh, ductile iron pipes mm. which 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 will also have a hot metal capacity yeah. so that's where the captive consumption uh, uh, will uh, the, will increase okay all right so give us a couple of details then on that uh, forward integration the ductile iron pipes how much of money will you be spending on this and by when do you see this getting uh, these uh, you know commercial production from the ductile iron uh, business that you're talking about the current commercial production will be during uh, uh, fy25 okay uh, early early fy25 okay or uh, towards the end of 24 around that q4 q q1 so and the project project also is advancing fairly well capex capex uh, uh, around uh, around 2000 uh, plus crores as we have announced earlier okay. so that is what uh, uh, we are looking at and, and what are the asset turns on this capex uh, what uh, how are you funding it is it all internally no it will be uh, both uh, through equity and debt okay thanks a lot uh, bhai ji for joining in and giving us all those details we will touch base with you in uh, hopefully in the first quarter of fy24 when you get all the approvals in for the manganese ore as well and then we talk about uh, your business going forward with that we take a short break on the other side we get chatting about markets and individual stocks stay tuned